Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, we will discuss proving in trigonometry. We've discussed identity in our previous video. In this example, we're going to prove this one is equal to this one. To answer proving questions like this, we need to choose a side first. And to choose a side, it is better to choose the side that has more complicated expression. So, between this left-hand side and this right-hand side, which one is more complicated? It is obvious that the left-hand side is much more complicated than the right-hand side, right? If you think the right-hand side is much more complicated here, you need to get your eyes checked. So, we are going to start to prove from the left-hand side. You must write this step first to show which side that you chose. At this point, if you have no idea how to proceed, try to change everything into sine and cos. Of course, this step is not necessary if you already know what to do. If you know what to do next, then just proceed with your idea. This is just in case if you don't know how to proceed next. So, let's start changing. Cosecant x is equal to 1 over sin x. I'm going to put the square outside. And then tan x is equal to sin x over cos x. And again, I'm going to put the square outside, minus 1. If I put the power back in, I'm going to get 1 over sin squared x multiplied by sin squared x over cos squared x minus 1. And we can see that we can cancel this sign. And now we are left with 1 over cos squared x minus 1. And we know that 1 over cos is equal to secant squared x minus 1. See? Now we have square here. At this step here, we can see that this is one of the identities. In identity number 2, so let's try and copy and bring it to our slide. We have 1 plus tan squared theta equals to secant squared theta. This theta is for any angle. So I can change this one to fit our angle here. So I can rewrite this as 1 plus tan squared x equals to secant squared x. Now, if you look here, I have secant squared x equals to 1 plus tan squared x. And if I substitute that here, 1 plus tan squared x minus 1, which is just equal to tan squared x. See? Now, this is our right-hand side. This proving that I showed you is a proper way to answer proving questions from one side to another. Never prove both sides together side by side. Now, Let's try another one. I'm going to show you two ways to prove this. One is the long way, but it's pretty easy to see the steps. And the second one, you need to recognize some of the identities earlier. Okay, let's see the first one first. The first step of proving is to choose a side first. So, should we choose the left-hand side or the right-hand side? As I said earlier, we want to choose the more complicated side, which in this case is the left-hand side. So, starting here, if you have no idea what to do here, remember to change everything to sine and cos. So we know that tan x is equal to sin x over cos x. So we're going to change this and this into this. And this can be written as this. Next, let's try to equate this denominator here. There's really no fixed steps in proving. The only tips that I can give you is to never give up halfway. So, back to equate denominator, I should multiply this by cos squared x. Now we can see that we can cancel this too. Now we're going to have this. See, this looks familiar with the identity, right? And which identity is that? Is it number 1 or number 2 or number 3? So this is equal to identity number 1. And identity number 1 says that sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. So I can change that to become sine squared x over 1. And this is just sine squared x. And look, this is our right-hand side. Not that difficult, right, once you see it? As promised, I'll show you another way to prove this question. Just like before, choose the more complicated side. And in this case, left-hand side is much more complicated. If you notice, this is one of our identities. Is it number 1, number 2, or number 3? 
yep this is our second identity here so we can change this one straight away to become over secant squared x now every time you're stuck we can change this into sine and cos now i can change this into sine x over cos x squared over 1 over cos x squared if i put the square back inside I'm going to get sine squared x over cos squared x over 1 over cos squared x. And see, I can cancel these two and left with just sine squared x. And this is our right hand side. Now let's see the difference between this solution and this solution here. This solution here is a bit more shorter than this solution here. So if you can recognize the identities earlier, it will be better and easier to prove. But it's okay too if you didn't. We all take different journeys anyways. So as long as you're using the correct rule, you'll be fine at the end. And by that, these are some exercises for you to try. Always remember the tips for proving. Never give up halfway. Right? So that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for your attention. Have a great day and take care.